Good morning. My mom and I are here at the Finch Lake Trailhead in the Wild Basin section of Rocky Mountain National Park. And today, we're gonna go for this nice, easy little loop. We're gonna start here at the Finch Lake Trailhead, take it up across the top of the ridge, down to Calypso Cascades, down to Copeland Falls, back to the Wild Basin Trailhead, and then we're gonna have to hike a little bit of the road back up here to the Finch Lake Trailhead. Official start time, 6.52. We've seen a ton of wildlife on the drive up. We saw bighorn sheep, we saw that eagle, turkey vultures, deer, elk, and then a couple of coyotes right there at the Wild Basin turnoff. And we've got another beautiful day. That Wild Basin road is trashed right now. It's got so many holes in it. I don't know if my dad's car could even have made it. I don't know, it was really bad. I'm just guessing that they're gonna be filling that here soon. Cause there's no way they can go into the summer with it like that. It's terrible. Pretty awesome back here. That's looking over to Twin Sisters. It would not surprise me one bit if we did not hike up onto a moose at some point. There's moose poop everywhere. We're still hiking up this initial incline and I think this is gonna be about 550 vertical feet or so. Looks like we're going from about 8450 up to around 9000. We're almost up there. Let's name some peaks. Starting left to right, we've got Mount Orton, Chief's Head Peak, Mount Meeker, Lookout Mountain, and Horsetooth Peak. And we're up there. This has taken us about 25 minutes. And we're looking at about a 550 foot vertical elevation gain. We're gonna hit the right here at this little patch of aspen trees and then take it on in this direction. Look at all these burn sites. Wow. Geez, looks like they had a forest fire in here. Is this their attempt at cleaning up the forest? I mean, if so, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. They're thinning it out through here. Huh. It is a beautiful morning. Absolutely perfect. Just this nice crispy temperature. 
with a slight breeze coming through. We've been hiking along this really nice flat section for a few minutes, but I just looked at the GPS and it looks like we're gonna start going up here in a second. We've made it out here to this trail split and it looks like Allen's Park is 1.1 miles in that direction. And then from the trail split, the trail starts going up. Wow, this high point out here at 9,500 is a lot closer than I thought. On my GPS, it shows it like two tenths of a mile away. Yeah, this little 500 foot section is pretty significant. I'm not even sure what that little bird was. I'm thinking some kind of a grouse, maybe a species we haven't seen before, but we can just go ahead and add that to the list of animals that we've seen today. And we just hit the snow. And we've got some more up here. Oh geez, I just post hold. All right. And we're basically up here. And look at these awesome views. We can now see Pagoda Mountain and part of Long's Peak sticking up back there. Although we're real close to topping out, we're starting to pick up a lot more snow up here, which has me kind of worried because we tried this hike a year or two ago and we could not make it around because of the fear of an avalanche. Yeah, hopefully all the snow was just in that one little section because I don't want to deal with it. Well, I thought we were gonna top out here at 9,500, but then as I scrolled the GPS over a little more, it looks like there's a gradual uphill gain to about 9,600. And then from 9,600, we get to go back down. All right, we have made it up here to about 9,600 feet. And this is where the trail dumps in from Allen's Park. Yep. And then from here, I think we want to stay to the right. Yep. 3.1 miles back down to the Wild Basin Ranger Station. And that's pretty much at the Wild Basin Trailhead. And we have topped out up here at about 9,600 feet. We're not gonna be going any higher than this today. So we decided to stop up here and take our long break and just enjoy these amazing views. Wow, we can see everything from Mount Meeker all the way around to Mahana Peak. Yeah, yesterday I blew a goober onto my pants Today, I spit one onto my arm. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You want me to get it? Get it. I need help here. You want me to wind it up? Ew! Ew! <laughs> oh, man. It's what moms do. There you go. All right, thanks. 
There it is. Oh, I just ran into the camera. <laughs> it's about 9.05 and we were sitting up here for a few minutes, but we're gonna continue on. We're gonna hike downhill over to Calypso Cascades. And from there, we're probably gonna see 150 people. Up to this point, we've only seen one runner and that was a while ago. He came by and he was like, beautiful day, isn't it? We're like, yeah, it is. He's like, all right, have a good one. He had some kind of accent, I don't know. What well, you like the mountains over there? Looking pretty snowy. Pretty snowy indeed. Finally getting to go downhill. This is nice. Yeah, we've come around this corner and it's gotten a little chilly. Whoa! This is what happens when you try and do video sideways and walk forward at the same time. Yeah, it looks like we've got a little bit of snow. <laughs> oh. there. And there's big old Copeland Mountain. That thing is a beast. All right, we're almost out to where we made it last time and had to turn around. You can see right through here is the trail and we did not make it that far because there was an avalanche warning right here. Right here, this is where we turned around last time. That might be the cover shot right there. Wow, it's beautiful. This is a really scenic trail up here. Oh yeah, we can get around that snow, no problem. I just thought I'd come down to nothing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know though, a week ago, this might have been a problem. Yep, gotta make this one little step right here. And I'm through it. It helps if you make sound effects. And we're coming across another little water runoff area. I'm gonna have to dance across this little round log. Yeah, this trail is like exceeding my expectations up here. Wow. This is awesome. I highly recommend it. Yeah, this is incredibly scenic up here. Just get these awesome views of Longs and Meeker, Pagoda, Chief's Head, Alice, Tanama, Mahana, Copeland, all of the Wild Basin Mountains. Just check the GPS and I think we've got about three-fourths of a mile down to the Calypso Cascades. Looks like we're gonna drop it down quite a bit. And these are all aspens through here. This would be a really good hike to come do in the fall.
sorry if you guys are tired of this view right here, but it's really awesome. It's like my mom was just saying, even in the middle of the summer, I bet you're not gonna find too many people on this part of the trail. hiking through this little boulder field section. This trail's getting a little savage through here. A little rough. And you can tell no one's been back here for a long time. There's like one set of footprints that looks like it's super duper old. Calypso Cascades dead ahead. We're looking at 1.8 miles back down to the Wild Basin Trailhead. And that's about as good as I've ever seen Calypso Cascades. That was awesome. Usually I say that one's really not super impressive, but not today. That thing had a ton of water coming down. We're gonna go check out Copeland Falls. Holy cow, look at that.
Holy moly, that's the most water I've ever seen coming down Copeland Falls. Last one. back wild basin trailhead i think we're looking at maybe two tenths of a mile down the road it shouldn't be too bad i think we got a little uphill section though <laughs> mm -hmm. all right guys and we're back it's just now 1107 we started at 652 so that's four hours and 15 minutes and the elevation gain was right at 1150. all right calypso cascades loop and wild basin boom got it well we hope you enjoyed that hike and until the next one y'all peace